paper is a magnificent thing, really. It's funny because when you think about it, the river gives life with one hand and can take it with another. Civilizations have been built around rivers and yet still today we lose many lives because of floods and dangerous water. I remember when we used to play in the river as kids and you always had that air of fear around you when you was near the river. It is scary and dangerous, but exciting too. Sometimes the river is slow and gently weaves through the field. And other times it can be a raging torrent ripping its way through or bursting its banks and flooding all the fields. You have got to be careful because the river won't wait, not for no one. Should you slip or fall, well, let's hope you can swim any anyway. rate. But it does bring joy too, and it does bring life. The fish, the birds, the insects, otters, you know. You very often, when down by the river, you see a flash of blue from the kingfisher flitting up the river, and it does spark joy in you, in your heart. I suppose it is like a symbol of life, the river, when you think about it. Life is much like a river. It keeps on flowing, don't it? Life goes on just like the water in the river. And sometimes the river is deep, flows too fast, and it can be hard to keep your head above the water. But if you stay with it and carry on down the river, eventually it will shallow out. Calm down and you'll find your feet again. People carry all sorts of things with them in life, stresses and worries, just like a river carrying all sorts of debris. But when life feels a bit more calm, you can drop some of those stresses, just like a river leaving behind a fallen tree when it becomes too shallow. Life goes on, don't it? Life goes on, just keep floating. You can learn a lot from a river, really. We all ought to spend more time sat by a river. It is good for the soul, you know.